Uh, but I'm very proud that we're able to pass it in the Senate, hopefully in the Assembly next, because I think that's the approach we really have to take. We have to take a zero tolerance approach uh, to gun violence. The other issue, and again, uh, doesn't deal with gun violence, uh, but it really deals with uh, crimes in our communities, uh, and really against our most vulnerable population, our children, uh, was really started by Edith here. Uh, Edith uh, discovered uh, that uh, according to Megan's law, and I think everyone knows what Megan's law is, it's a sexual predator registry. Uh, when you're released from prison, you're required to register uh, on the uh, Megan's law registry. Uh, I, over the years, have updated uh, the law where now we have an internet program where you can register online and receive up-to-date information when a dangerous sexual predator moves into your community. Well, there's a law on the books also uh, that prohibits any sexual predator who's on probation or parole from living within a thousand feet of a school. Uh, because of Ruth tipping me off to this, of a new school built in Pelham Parkway, where unbeknownst to anyone, uh, there was a dangerous sexual predator living right next to that school, uh, my office did a study, and we found, lo and behold, uh, just in New York City, uh, there were 20 dangerous sexual predators, most of them committing crimes against children, who were on for probation or parole, living within a thousand feet of the school. Uh, the State Division of Criminal Justice Services threw up their hands, they didn't know about it, they didn't know why, and I found out that there was absolutely no sharing of information between the State Department of Education and the Division of Criminal Justice Services. In other words, they didn't even know uh, when a new school opened to be able to regulate and make sure that they weren't placing a dangerous sexual predator near a school. It was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they uh, promised to clean up their act after we passed legislation uh, requiring a sharing of information uh, between the uh, Department of Criminal Justice Services and the Department of Education. And then we found that, believe it or not, the law that we passed years ago 